How you doing, everybody? Hope I'm Baba Ganesh. It is Friday morning, June 8th, day 87, I believe it is, or something like that. 86, 87, one or the other. Here we are up at Black Rock Cliffs. Last night, we slept at Annapolis Rocks, which was fantastic. We saw the sunset and everything. We probably should have done a few more miles just to get ahead of schedule a little bit, but you couldn't pass up that kind of campsite, that kind of experience. So today we're gonna do like 40, 24 and a half miles. Yes, 42 and a half miles. <laughs> now 24 and a half miles, kind of get ahead of schedule a little bit. We're just gonna be doing 20 plus pretty much regularly every day. Pennsylvania is very, very easy for the most part, um, especially when you're crossing a lot of the farmlands and stuff. We haven't gotten up to the, the racks just yet. So we're uh, gonna bust the miles out until we get to there and then we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get there kind of thing. Until then, soak in this beautiful, beautiful view on this Friday morning. I know, you're jealous. This is my office. That's yours. So be it. In any case, we got some miles to do. I'll see you guys further up the trail. Baba Ganoush, out. How to hoe there, people. The reason why we're stopped here is because bam! We're at the Mason Dixon line. This is Maryland. This is Pennsylvania. Maryland, Pennsylvania. You get the idea. Anyway, we're super excited to cross the Mason Dixon line. Get into the north. <laughs> it's terrible. But get back uh, to the Union. <laughs> yeah. That means we have Pennsylvania to go until we hit New Jersey and we get to see our family finally, which means like a week and a half two weeks tops kind of thing. We get to meet up with everybody, so on and so forth. But first we have to go through the racks. We have to go through Pennsylvania racks first. <laughs> Racksylvania. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we're gonna take a minute and just enjoy this, take our pictures, so on and so forth. It's a long time coming, get to the Mason Dixon. Super happy, another milestone down, another goal down. But it's time to move on. I'll see you guys for the trail. Boom. How we doing everybody? We are here on day 87, I believe it is. But most importantly, we are on into Pennsylvania. Another state down, Maryland down. Oh man, as, as you saw, we passed the Mason-Dixon line yesterday. Uh, the Maryland-Pennsylvania border, huge, huge milestone, which means we only have a couple hundred miles to go in Pennsylvania. And then it's on up in New Jersey to where I finally get to see my family after, after a good few months. Um, it was great to really see my friends in DC and everything as well Just really just kind of rejuvenated things a little bit You know heading through uh, the roller coaster in Virginia, you know, Northern Virginia. We hit just a ton of rain It was just it was just slow moving It was really scary and sketchy at times as well to where it was just unsafe And you know that just kind of wears on your mind that wears on your mind wears on your body and so Glad to kind of get into DC, see my friends, see how see how enthusiastic they are for me and everything as well, and how proud of how proud they are and how happy they are and how they're just living vicariously through me, <laughs> essentially. Uh, it was really cool to stop into the store, see my manager Becky. As soon as I saw her, I mean, we both just gave each other just this huge, huge hug. Um, it was just really good to see everybody. And um, you know, at the store as well. They do have a cool map set up where they've been following my location and tracking my location. And then see my good friends, Kyle, Adam, everybody there, just really, really great. Kyle, thank you, buddy. Uh, you and Charmaine, thank you so, so much, you two, for being such incredible hosts and everything and really taking care of us. Can't tell you how much we appreciate the help, how much we appreciate the support and everything like that. Uh, it just goes a long, long way. Oh man, so as you can see, uh, I'm just, my spirit is rejuvenated. I feel really energetic in everything as well. I know Pennsylvania is a nice easy state, so we're doing some big miles. Try to get ahead of schedule just a little bit, 
you know, because of the weather, you know, we've been having to take more Nero days and zero days than, than we kind of wanted to for the first half, but we can always make it up. Now we got some nice weather. Let's do the big miles. We did 18 and a half miles uh, right from Ed Garvey shelter. Uh, we did 21 and change yesterday. We're looking to do possibly 28, 29 miles and get past the halfway point today. So there's a shelter right before the halfway point, which will be about 24 miles. So worst comes to worst, if it's running late in the day, we can always hold up right there. But it would be nice if we can uh, get to halfway on day 87. So that we're, uh, you know, kind of picking up the miles, picking up the pace a little bit. But today's gonna be a long day. It's about 10 o'clock. Ah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Time to do some miles. I'll see you guys further up the trail. Well, hot ho there, everybody. Look what I found, the halfway sign. So we actually passed halfway yesterday, uh, but this is the old original sign from years and years ago, and it's still here. So still tradition to uh, pass you know, pass this and take your picture with it to show that you are in fact halfway to Katahdin. Really, really awesome. So we're over 1,100 miles, but we got still plenty of miles to do. In the meantime, it's raining. We did have some nice little trail magic back there, so on and so forth, we grabbed some Jolly Ranchers. So we're gonna take our picture here, move along, get some res resupply today, camp out tonight. We got some rain, we got some thunderstorms. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I'll see you guys for the trail. How we doing everybody your old pal baba ganoush here oh man it is tuesday it is tuesday june 12th it is the final day of week 13 moving on to week 14 ah going through pennsylvania we got a really nice easy day today pretty much all farmland for the most part towards the end it does get a little choppy but no worse for the wear ah beautiful beautiful day we're looking to do about 21 miles and change uh, really stretch the miles out, pick up the average a little bit, and uh, take advantage of this beautiful, beautiful view. This easy, easy walking terrain. Gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day. So yesterday we got into Boiling Springs, um, and that was kind of planned. It was only about a 12 and a half mile day, but Fernando had his brand new Osprey backpack waiting for him in the nearby town, Mechanicsville, Mechanicsburg. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. Um, and so we had to go pick that up. There is a campsite along the AT or just off the AT that's just outside of town kind of thing. Uh, that's a great place for backpackers to go. So we ended up camping there last night. It was great. We got some good food into us last night. We had a really great breakfast this morning at Cafe 101, uh, right near the ATC in the middle of town. So we started off at like 930. <laughs> But again, we got nice, easy terrain, pretty much farm walking for most of today, like two thirds of today. So that's gonna definitely help us with the time. Oh man, we're only about 170 miles or so from uh, the New Jersey border. So between eight and 10 days probably, just figuring with you know sh a couple shorter days with resupplies, see how the weather works as well. You know, who knows? Maybe it can only, maybe you can do it in less days. Who know? Who knows? We'll see what happens. But eight to 10 days, somewhere in between there. Looking forward to getting on up to New Jersey and seeing my family. So, as Fernando knows, I hate snakes. <laughs> I hate them. 
spawn of Satan as far as I'm concerned. Hate him. So we leave camp a while ago. Now we're getting a late start in the day and it's because we're expecting some uh, thunderstorms tonight. It rained until like mid-morning, so we kind of just hunkered down. We're like, hey, let's just stay at the, this uh, cheap hotel in Duncannon, get our stuff dry, and then we'll book it out tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice for the next couple of days. But back to the original story. I hate snakes. <laughs> so we leave camp just a little bit ago, and maybe we're not even a quarter mile from camp, maybe point one. And all of a sudden I just stopped dead because there's a six foot black snake sitting across this trail. Now normally six foot black snake, I figure it's just a rat snake, it's harmless. And it just wants to scurry off and get away from us kind of thing. It's more afraid of us. This thing just sits there. Not only does it sit there, but then when Fernando rolls up on it, on it um, right behind me and we start taking pictures, it turns its head towards us and opens its mouth. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah, terrifying. <laughs> Of course, I'm out front. I am terrified of snakes. I despise them wholeheartedly. Oh, I'll just slip on that rock, break my face. <laughs> oh. You good? Yeah, I'm good. That was you a good a one. What? You need a second? No, I'm good. That was actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good catch. It was rather graceful. Mm. But anyway, snakes. <laughs> anyway, back to Satan. Back to back to the scaled spawn of Satan that I'm talking about here. I've seen so many snakes on this trip, and half of them, half of the snakes that I've seen have been all poisonous. All ones that can freaking kill me. Wonderful. Good, great, grand, wonderful. No yelling on the bus. <laughs> oh man, I hate snakes. Anyway. We're going into Dun Cannon. Uh, I'm gonna try not to slip and fall again. We'll see how it goes. But we're in Rock Sylvania, so that's probably gonna happen more often than I would like. But that's the way it goes. I'll see you guys further up the trail when we get to the hotel. We're drying out, doing laundry, getting some food. See you guys later. Huh, no more snakes, please. doing everybody oh, we just got the best trail magic ever there's this couple sitting right near 501 shelter right at 501 gap there and what's funny is we we're gonna stop at 501 shelter anyway and grab some lunch but then we came upon trail magic and i say the best ever because they were making bacon egg and cheese sandwiches on bagels for everybody oh my goodness so of course i had two of them <laughs> fernando had two sandwiches as well now we decided to put past, push past uh, Port Clinton. Um, yeah, is Port, where are we gonna stop again? Pine Grove. Pine Grove, whatever. <laughs> so we we're gonna stop in Pine Grove uh, and resupply and things, but we did also realize that we had at least another day and a half, two days worth of extra food. So we're gonna push ahead, and then we came across that trail magic, and now we definitely have the food to push ahead. We're gonna. <laughs> We we're gonna hopefully think about doing, you know, 20 plus today and really, uh, you know, crank out the miles, get ahead of schedule a little bit. And then of course, someone mentioned a swimming hole and a rope swing possibly. And so 20 plus miles turned into 17 and a half, 18 miles <laughs> real quick. We're still ahead of schedule. Yeah, it still keeps us ahead of schedule for getting into New Jersey, which we're targeting, you know, Thursday, Friday right now. Tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll do a few extra miles and pick it up a little bit see if we can get in you know Thursday afternoon maybe earliest Friday morning kind of thing who knows we'll see what happens 
But anyway, we're going to be going about five and a half miles more today. Get us up to that watering hole. We'll see how we're doing. Maybe we'll take a dip. Who knows? It would be awfully refreshing to do so. In the meantime, put you away. Get on up. I feel so energized and so full right now. I feel so good. Oh my goodness. I'll see you guys further up the trail. How we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush. Oh boy, it's Monday, June 18th. It's a hot one today, but we got views like this that make it all worth it. Big, big climb getting up here. We're up at Prop Pulpit Rock right now, I believe it is. Whew, just a big boulder field, just climbing boulders and rocks the whole way. Really wears on your legs, and especially a hot day like today. Woo! Hey, got to watch it where I'm stepping as well because supposedly there's lots of rattlesnakes that live up here. Uh, I hate snakes. Ah, so we're doing about 21 miles and change today. That's the plan anyway. It's going to be a hot one, as I said, so we can certainly fall back to something around like 16 and a half or so if we really have to. Uh, but if we can do the 21, 21 and change, it gets us a little bit closer to New Jersey. Uh, we're expecting to get there Thursday afternoon, the latest. Uh, and then we're going to be able to spend some time with our family, some friends. My sister's going to have a barbecue Thursday. I'm going to bring, uh, bring a few friends and things with me. Maybe a couple hikers as well. They'll shower beforehand, of course. <laughs> we'll all shower beforehand multiple times. But today we're just going to take it easy. It's going to be hot. We have some good water sources up ahead. So we'll take our time, get on into camp accordingly. But, you know, stay hydrated, number one. It's going to be up in the 90s. The heat index is saying like over 100 degrees. <sighs> oh, boy. In the meantime, I think it's day 96 or 97. We're getting close to day 100, a huge, huge milestone there. Ah. Let's get onto it. I'll see you guys further up the trail. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How we doing everybody? Welcome back. So I did not get caught in a rainstorm. That's not why I'm soaking wet. I'm soaking wet because I'm sweating. Holy smokes. So today was already a hot day. I was sweating like crazy as it was. And then all of a sudden we had thunderstorms roll by. Now what's funny is they passed like a few miles in front of us. We just we just narrowly escaped them. So they moved by and then all of a sudden we were walking up and it went from all dry terrain to all of a sudden everything is soaking wet because of the rain. And along with that, because it's been hot today, it is so humid. Oh my gosh, so, so humid. The air is thick, it's hard to breathe. I just did like a thousand foot incline. I have a couple more hundred feet to go. Oh boy, hard to breathe, thick air, sweating. I'm completely soaked from head to toe just because of sweat. Oh boy, hopefully it cools down tonight. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms tonight, possibly. We'll see what happens. But the good news is I'm only five miles from shelter. Ah, it's uh, just, just a little bit before 5.30. You know, we've been taking our time. We took a good like hour, hour and a half lunch break and just kind of relaxed. So got some good water into us and really rehydrated and things. So we'll get there probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Call it a nice early night. Get on in. Another nice day tomorrow. So let me put you away. Huh, let me catch my breath. See if I can dry out a little bit. I'll see you guys further up the way. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Your old pal, Baba Ganoush here again. Oh boy, it is Tuesday morning, June 19th, a day closer to New Jersey. We're only a couple days away. We're gonna be getting picked up probably mid-afternoon on Thursday. Who knows, maybe even earlier. We'll see what happens. We've been doing some really nice miles. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yesterday we did uh, about 18 and change. Um, you know, I had some pretty tough climbs throughout the day and things. Uh, we got up to a campsite last night and then sure enough, as soon as we got up there, it just started raining. So last night we had some thunderstorms, some showers passed by and things, nothing too crazy, but it was nice that we were all hunkered down and tucked away in our tents already by then. We were all set to go. Feel really nice and energized this morning. Feel ready to go. We've got about 20 miles to go to get uh, just a couple miles out Palmerton where we're resupplied tomorrow and continue on the way. Pennsylvania has been pretty cool, nice and flat. Of course, a little rocky, but no worse for the wear on that one. Oh man, the racks, the racks. But Palmerton, PA tomorrow, you know, it's been nice going through PA that we can uh, just resupply like every two, two to two and a half days, three days kind of thing, max. 
So it's been nice to keep the packs nice and light and continue on the move. Always, always really nice. Now we'll get up to New Jersey. We'll get picked up at the Delaware Water Gap. Get to see my family. Tell all the incredible stories. Sleep in my super fantastic, comfortable bed. Get a home cooked meal as well. So looking forward to it. And then we'll slack pack on through and then we'll continue on the way. So we got only a couple more months left to go here till we reach Katahdin. It's getting closer and closer by the day. It's getting more real by the minute. Oh boy. Let me put you away. We got some miles to do. I'll see you further up the trail. <laughs> 